this shit just kicked on there. <laughs> ah! Holy shit, I almost went flying back. Oh my god. You can't be serious, man. What's going on, my modest, and welcome back to another video. As you guys just saw, we broke a stud on the spacer. I have a theory I probably snapped it off when I hit a fat-ass pothole. Because as you can see, it has been raining for the past week and a half, and yeah, it really messed up the roads. But the reason why I have those spacers in the first place is because I bought some weak spec TE37s as my first wheels. You can't really blame me. I only paid like 1500 or less than that with tires. But now I'm paying the price for it, and I have to get rid of the spacers. The problem is, if I take out the spacers and keep the TEs, it's going to look really whack. As much as I love my TEs, I think it's time to move on to another set, which is why I'm driving across the bay today to pick up some wheels. It's a pretty solid wheel and I got a really good deal on it. <laughs> Spitting bars. But on top of the really good deal, they're also the dream spec. 18 by 9.5 plus 38. With tires, of course. All in all, I'm only paying 900. I'm sorry, but you guys are gonna have to stick around and watch the video to see what the wheels are. I gotta cross over the bridge, so hopefully my wheel doesn't come off in this weather. Wish your boy luck. Matt is actually behind us. There he is. There's a clear shot. <laughs> I'm about to meet the buyer right now. That's his STI right there. Let's get it. All right, y'all, I just picked up the wheels. Little sneak peek, y'all can look at the tires, but you can see they some fat wheels, bro. So if you didn't know, we were currently running some 18 by seven or seven and a half plus maybe, maybe even 50 offset on these TEs. They're really skinny and they're super sunken in before I toss on the spacers. But like I said, the spacer stud snaps, so we have to run some proper spec wheels now. And there we go. Well, folks, it's the next day and I just picked up some spare lug nuts. I didn't really see the point in buying a new set because I'm only missing one. And who knows, I might end up spray painting these black for just the sake of it. As you can see, we got the wheels that we picked up yesterday. The reason I'm debating on spray painting the lug nuts black is because these wheels are silver. Just a little hint. I'm super hyped to slap these on the car because it's the dream spec. For those of you who didn't know, for Tension Civics, 18 by 9.5 plus 38 is supposed to be perfect. I don't even think you need to roll your fenders for it, so hopefully I don't need to. But before you jump into that, let me give a huge shout out to Modism. If this is your first time on the channel and you don't know what Modism is, Modism is the religion of modding cars or any vehicle for that matter. We believe that car enthusiasts have the right to enjoy their cars. We also advocate for safety, open mindedness, and respect because that's what all great communities are based on. If you do decide you want to support Modism, be sure to head to modism.com in the link in the description below. We got all sorts of cool things on the website such as crew necks like this. This crew neck right here is available in five different colors. Black, forest green, navy blue, maroon, and tan. And of course you can't forget about the OG hoodies. And if you want to devote your car to modernism, we got banners for sale as well. Can't forget about the super sick logo decals. Now if you personally think the banners are too big to represent, we also offer seven inch decals. Super subtle, super clean, trust your boy. By far one of my favorite products in the store are the modernism flight tags. Pretty simple clean design and it's embroidered. And on the back it says, in mods we trust. How sick is that? But that's just a small glimpse into some of the products that we have on the store. If you want to go check everything out for yourself, be sure to go to modism.com, link in the description. Anyways, that's the end of the self-promo. If you're still on this video, congratulations. Let's get the install started. First things first, let's assess the damage. So over here on the passenger side front wheel, as you can see, one of the studs completely snapped off when I hit a pothole. Koa, move out the way, bud! But yeah, one of the wheel studs came off when I hit a pothole super hard this week. It's actually the stud from the spacer right there, because if you didn't know, we're running garage line spacers. Reason being is because these wheels are poor specs and they didn't really fit on my car. I kind of just bought them. Dumb mistake, I know, but we all make mistakes when we're young. And now we finally have some proper spec wheels. First things first, let's go ahead and remove the side skirts so that we can jack up the car. I think I'm also going to be doing some modifications to the side skirts sometime in the near future. And by modifications, I just mean cutting slots so the jack can fit under. I believe that's how the OEM Type R side skirts are, but since these are aftermarket versions of that, it's just straight all across and it blocks the pinch welds. This is my makeshift drill that I was telling you guys about last time. So we got a electric ratchet right here. I put on a 3 8 to quarter drive converter, quarter inch, and then we got a Phillips on top. That way we are able to slide it in like this. Look how efficient this is. What? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, my boy. Look at that. So we just got the first side skirt off. Yeah, this is what I was saying as like the aftermarket version of the OEM side skirt. I'm gonna have to cut like some rectangles out of here. Unfortunately, I don't have any power tools for that right now. So I'm gonna have to wait on it a little bit. Unless we find some crazy solution for it today. But first, let's get those wheels on. I was so bored after spray painting my calipers gold that I spray painted my wheel lock too. Looks like a bullet. Same thing. 
thing with the spacers. One thing I really like about this tool is the bits are interchangeable. So right now I got the half drive on. We need to step it down to three eighths. Very versatile. There we go. Yo, this Milwaukee tool is putting in work. Hey. That's not loud for you? Surprise, he's only barking now. And just like that, folks, the first spacer is off. Woo! Look at that nasty water. Ew! Check that out. Garage line spacers. Hey, these are actually repairable if anyone wants to buy them. I don't want to toss them away because they were pretty expensive, so if anyone wants to buy them and repair them, please let me know. Motto. All right, spacer time. I believe I'm running 20 up front and 25 in the rears. I'm not too sure. All right, everybody, cover your ears. All right, maybe we gotta break it by hand. Ain't no way. Oh, that's the wrong one, that's why. What is this, three fourths? Three fourths, here we go. Ain't no way, why does this three fourths fit on there and the other three fourths don't? Oh, that's 11 sixteenths, that's why. Yeah, that was my bad, I misplaced it. Okay, big booty time. <laughs> oh shit. Good to know that these ones weren't gonna fall off anytime soon. <sighs> what a workout. I gotta go to the gym after this too. the adjustable speeds on here. Check that, I got one, two, three, and a screwdriver. There we go. All right, oh, this kicked on there. Come on, man, don't give up on me now. Oh, I had a titty twister that thing off. I went, ooh. But yeah, here's spacer number two. This is the 25, I believe. Pretty solid condition still. All right, time to slap the new wheels on, but before we do that, time to reveal them. So y'all, we are about to slap on some Blitz 03s just playing. We got some NK RPF 1s. This is a pretty controversial wheel just because of how common they are, but it was a really good deal and I'd be stupid if I turned it down. Like I said, Dream Spec with tires 18 by 9.5 plus 38. I think the tires are practically brand new. They don't really look like they have much damage to it. All in all, I paid $900, so I think that's a really good steal. For as beefy as these wheels are, they are pretty light. That's why people love NKs. Oh yeah, and I finally got some center caps too. What? I never ever ran center caps on my TEs just because I never got them. And buying them seemed kind of redundant because of how expensive they are. Oh, imagine they're the wrong bolt pattern. I would've been pissed. Damn! Oh my god, I didn't even bolt them up yet and this shit looks sick. Since I bought a replacement of lug nuts, I think we'll go ahead and swap out the nastiest looking one from all of them. This one's pretty clean looking. Eh, yo, this is sick. Dark gray and silver. Man, I never thought I'd be doing this. I never thought. I genuinely thought RPFs were not for me. And I told myself I would never buy them unless I came across a good deal. And guess what? I came across a good deal. So this one brand new, man. Model S. Model S. Dump them out, dump them out. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Everybody out, no, 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 no. We got one more. Has anybody seen Kevin? All right, there we go. Which one do you guys think looks nastier? I'm gonna go ahead and say this one right here is nastier. So grimy. Ugh. Star pattern, of course, star pattern. If you didn't know why, it's so that the wheel gets tightened on evenly. Last thing you want is a wheel that is mounted unevenly. Good enough. Damn. Damn. That shit gonna hit when it comes. I don't know, but I guess we'll find out. First impression so far, I think it looks really good. From the side, oh shit, that is flush. All right, I just gotta make sure I don't drop it too fast so I don't smush my fenders. All right, wheel number two. Yay! Oh, these ones are all nasty looking. Whatever, whatever. It's a bunch of brake dust, luckily it's not rust. Look at me, effing little spinning rhymes. Nice and easy. Sounds like a gun. Hey, first side is officially done. Oh, damn! 
damn, new shoes. Damn, this shade looks crazy. I'm not a big fan of the, the color choices just because, you know, I'm really biased towards white wheels. But for the time being, and for the sake of saying YOLO, this, uh, this seems like a pretty good experience. All right, let's check it from the side again. Oh shit. Oh shit. That fit, man. Oh my god. Hopefully it's not too perfect. Maybe. Actually, yeah, let's do... Nah, let's do 84. I like that. up here bro I'm violating my car right now oh my god well we gotta see how it is when we start turning but I think we should be fine this is like this shit perfect man it's perfect ah oh, this is sick yeah same thing with the rear we... oh my god oh my god I finally got some properly sized shoes this modism sweater too good at keeping me warm that it's hot now Really interested to see what the stud looks like underneath. That shit snaps straight off. Well, now you guys saw how to do a four lug conversion full flea. Here we go. Ooh. Oh damn. Yo, the stud snapped off complete. Oh man. Check that out right there. Well, I've owned these for over a year and a half. They didn't fail me until now, and that's when I hit a big ass pothole. So I'd say these are pretty solid spacers. in a war zone now, y'all. Get out, man. Oh my God. Jesus. Ooh. Almost tightened it again. Yay! Woo! Here we go. Here is the broken piece. Here's an up close look at it. If anyone wants these, you'll get them highly discounted. Just gotta fix one of the studs. That's insane. NK time. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with this purchase. I've always liked the design of these wheels, but with the price that they go for for retail, I didn't really think it was worth it. But like I said, I did not get these for retail. I got a really good deal, so I think they're totally worth it. Nice. Sexy. Oh, stinks. Smell the brake dust for sure. Stick the oh shit, we're gonna stick the nuts on and then we're gonna grab it by the nuts. Everybody, check the action, man. God damn, did I miss one? No, I didn't. Oh, this shit just kicked on there. Uh, ah, holy shit, I almost went flying back. Going on with the last wheel. Yay! Alright y'all, we're about to drop the car. Let's get it. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
This is literally what I've been searching for almost my entire life. Now that we have the new wheels on the car, let's go ahead and start modding the side skirts. Because my side skirts are so dusty, I drew a little mark of where I want to cut with my finger. So we're gonna go ahead and mimic the same thing on this side. Uh oh, that's too far. Look at me, bro. I feel like a freaking Neanderthal doing cave paintings right now. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> Alright y'all, I got my safety glasses on. Mata ass. Yay, we made our first cut. Holy shit, that vibrated the shit out of my hands. Uh -huh. Here's the first piece. Boom! Actually, let's see if it fits. So just a little update, I ended up cutting even more. Like this entire section is disconnected, but um, yeah, it didn't really serve any support. So I figured I might as well just cut it all the way that way I can access the pinch weld. But uh, next up we got this one right here, that one right there, and then this side is completely done. So we just finished up the driver's side. All of this has been cut out so that we can access the pinch welds. And yeah, I cut it far enough to the point where we have full coverage now, but it didn't sacrifice any of the structural integrity. I'm gonna do the same to this one and then we'll have it mounted back on the car. Yeah, damn. Right, I'm gonna use the long flat one for the middle. In case you're wondering why I don't use the three plastic pins that you're supposed to put under, they don't really flutter out too much, so they kind of don't work. What a ass. I love tightening it and watching the gaps like close up. It's like Iron Man. Ooh, that's a good, good fitment. That ain't going nowhere. That's basically it installed. I'm gonna do the supporting screws right now, then I'm gonna knock out the other side, and then we'll bring the car outside and I'll show you what it looks like. Well, folks, I just finished mounting the wheels and the side skirt on the car. Good news, the wheels look amazing, and the side skirts, I didn't mess them up when I was cutting them with a the jigsaw. Bad news, I still can't use my low profile jack. The pinch welds are exposed and the jack can go under the car, but because it has a slanted shape, the jack itself will hit the side skirt before the plate reaches the pinch weld. It's not a total loss because you can still use jack stands and it can be used on a lift now. I'm just happy my work wasn't for nothing. It might be a little hard to tell on camera, but the car is absolutely filthy after I drove it back from Los Angeles. I ended up getting hit by a shit ton of tumbleweeds. Chances are when I wash off the dirt, I'm gonna see a lot of scratches. This dent, we're gonna get fixed soon. Due to time constraints, I will not be washing the car today. I might wash it tomorrow, but I haven't been to the gym in a while, so let's go hit up the gym. Before we take off to the gym, we gotta go to the post office and drop off all these orders. Big shout out to everyone who's been supporting. So we finally have the car out of the garage and this is what it looks like. The fitment was rubbing a lot on the way here, even over like minor bumps, so. I just want to make sure that nothing gets sliced up, but it doesn't look like there's any serious marks or anything for that matter, so it's probably just sound. So I just chopped everything off. I ended up folding in that little tab in my fenders with my finger. I bent it back a good amount, so hopefully we don't hear as much scraping, but the tires themselves look pretty good. Overall, I'm really satisfied with the purchase and the setup looks really crazy now. All right, y'all, we are back home, and as you can see, we got the car ready to be jacked up because my suspension light actually went off. I went around and checked all my sensors. I don't know if you guys can see it, but one of them is just dangling right there, and all the other ones are perfect, so I'm assuming that's the one that's setting off the sensor, but if we fix it and it's still going off, I'm just gonna leave it and let it be a Christmas tree. Let's get it. Now we got the sensor back on, everything is freshly zip tied, so hopefully it doesn't come back off. I also checked the connection here. The connection seems fine. None of the plugs are burnt or anything. All that's left to do, slap the wheel back on, fire up the car, see if we still got that problem. Just like how the driver's side was rubbing on that little tab, I'm gonna go ahead and fold in the tab on this side as well. I literally just used my finger. Let's see if we could do it. <laughs> <laughs> it is bent. All right, let's bend it some more. I don't like how it scrapes my wheels. My new Pirelli Centauri. Mata ass. She say, what them fingers do? You say, fender rolling. No way. I did it. There it is. Can't even see it. <laughs> Well guys, I ended up cutting my hair because it's been a while since I got a haircut. But that's going to be the end of today's video. Thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end. If you didn't already, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Like I said, we really want to take modism to the big leagues on YouTube. And this year is going to be the first year that we're going to be going full time into it. 
so expect more vlogs, more installs with the boys, and a ton more funny moments. If you don't want to miss any of that, make sure you're subscribed and turn on your post notifications. Last shout out of the video, if you want to show extra love and support to Modism, be sure to go to Modism.com, link in description, and let me know what you think of the new shoes. Me personally, I'd say the color combo is still growing on me, but I do like the look of the car, especially now that the Fitment is A1. We even did some custom fender rolling. All in all, I'm super happy with the purchase. Huge shout out to Adrian for selling me the wheels for a solid price. He definitely has one of the cleanest SDI hatchbacks I've ever seen. But yeah, mad love. Once once again, thank you so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I can't wait to see you guys next time. With that being said, you'll see me in the next video soon.